We once did the impossible. We left Earth, crossed 384,000 kilometers of darkness, and set foot on the moon. But here's the question no one stops asking. If we really did it, why haven't we gone back? Before we dive deeper, please like and subscribe, because this is Universe Unlocked. To understand the silence after Apollo, we need to understand the first reason we went there at all. Because the moon wasn't just a destination, it was a battleground. In the 1960s, the United States and the Soviet Union were locked in a technological war. The space race landing on the moon wasn't about exploration, it was about proving power. So the US poured money into NASA, like never before in history, engineers worked around the clock. Every mistake was a national threat. And in 1969, Apollo 11 landed. Mission accomplished. The world watched the US won. But once victory was secured, the urgency vanished. Budgets were cut nearly in half. Political interest collapsed. And the greatest machine ever built for reaching the moon was quietly retired. But here's what almost no one talks about. The moon didn't get less interesting. We just weren't ready for what comes next. Because the moon may hold something that could power future civilizations, fuel deep space travel, and unlock the path to Mars. So why now, after 50 years, is NASA finally returning? What changed? And what did we find on the moon that made the world look up again? Follow for part two, because the next moon race is only just beginning. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for man.